Talking about the Weeble S update, there was two uh, firmware updates, uh, one for the image transmission and one for the gimbal itself. So the image transmission was basically uh, allowing compatibility with Z cameras and allowing that to control the gimbal. Uh, this latest one, which is the firmware upgrade 1.92 for the Weeble S gimbal itself, is to improve two points in particular, the roll axis, which causes some sort of wobble in the horizon area and also the uh, strengthening of the focus mode. This is a demonstration of the improved zoom motor function with the update. In this clip I have sped up the movie six times its normal speed just to show you that walking through towards the park the horizon hasn't really changed or wobbled. In this clip, I've actually walked sideways and then testing out various zoom functions with the lens and panning around and there doesn't seem to be any wobble. This final example is a long two minute walk around this tower and again there's no wobble here. All right, I'm here talking to you and hopefully I'm testing out this active tracking. As you can see, I'm going to put on the follow focus and see if I can uh, activate the zoom. If I just uh, move the zoom slightly forward, and it seems to be working. Um, pull it away. Uh, I think there's ways to slow down and speed up the zoom, but at the moment it's all a bit... Uh, fast for my liking but never mind otherwise yeah this tracking seems to be working okay hopefully the sun doesn't glare too much and it doesn't uh, doesn't lose me in this light but otherwise yeah it seems to be okay I'm hoping that uh, I could use this for some decent uh, YouTube videos and presenting this final footage is me walking around the table and it seems to be fine for me. So in conclusion, I think that this gimbal's new firmware setting seems to be okay. Although I did have to auto-tune it and stick the uh, motor strength on high. This is because my payload is about 1.5 kilos, which is a A7 III and a 24 to 240 millimeter zoom lens. I've also added custom values for the motor strength itself to accommodate for the dynamic zoom. I hope that this demonstration helps you to decide whether or not to update to the new 1.92 firmware. Please like and subscribe to this channel for some more hints and tips and reviews. Thanks.